Hey guys, welcome back. Wake up this morning. Hey guys, and Make welcome back. And hello if you are new. My name is Sarah, and I make a lot of plus size fashion videos just like this one on my channel. I also make lots of other lifestyle and mommy content. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and joined our little family. And if you haven't already, I would also really love it if you follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's video is going to be a fallish <laughs> transitional fall, I guess, uh, plus size fashion haul. I have been so in the mood for all the fall clothing, all the cute things, but it's still like 105 degrees here in Texas, and so it's like, it's kind of taking me back a little bit, but I'm trying to focus on transitional pieces that are definitely fall themed, and will work really well, work where rail, work really well with layers, but are still nice and cool for now, because although it is September on Tuesday, just a few days from now, it'll be September. It's still so freaking hot. I feel like we are in the Sahara Desert. So anyway, today's video is going to be a big haul from Rose Gal. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that I have done a bunch of different hauls from Rose Gal. I really appreciate their clothes. They are very similar to Zaffle, Shein, on par with all of those brands um, and have uh, actually a lot of really similar items. Um, and every single time I do a haul from them, I feel like it gets better. And um, a lot of my pieces that I do have in my wardrobe are some of my favorite items are from Rose Gal. So I'm really excited to share them um, with you. I think we all know like Zaffle and Shein and Rose Gal um, are really inexpensive. They're great and budget friendly um, and you know, Sometimes things can be hit or miss, just depending on sizing, depending on the fabric, kind of like that. Um, but for the most part, this whole entire haul is a hit besides one item. And I'm really, really happy with everything that I got and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's just get started. Um, the first thing I wanna share with you is the thing that I'm wearing. This is actually something that I saw just like an ad pop up um, one day and knew that I had to have this. And then Rose Gal reached out to me and wanted to, you know, send clothes my way. And this is the one of the items that I picked. I love this shirt. Now, I will say normally in all my past videos, I've always gone up a number of sizes when it came to Rose Gal or Zaffle or Shein and stuff like that. Um, and things were too big. So I'm slowly but surely kind of going back down to my true size, which is a 1X size 16. Um, but so everything in this haul is either a 2X and a 3X, and I will say everything is still pretty big. So I probably will safely now order a 2X and hope for the best, and I think that'll be good. I will just size up one time every time just in case, but I think I'll be good um, after that. But this shirt I love. It's really, really silky. Silky. Honestly, on the website, I thought it was going to be like a rougher cotton, um, but it's actually really, really silky, almost, I don't know, like satin type, but it's not shiny. I don't know how to describe this fabric, but I really like it. It has this really cute ruffle detail. Now, the sleeves are tied. My husband tied them in the back for me ignore my bra strap so I probably next time will have it go a little bit lower because it's kind of like really high right now but I'll probably have it go a little bit lower but this is a perfect layering piece for the fall this will look cute tucked in a skirt this will look cute with like ripped black denim with regular blue denim this is super cute with leggings like I wore it today because it's really long I'm 5'5 five, five. I'd ask that a lot I'm 5'5 five, five, so I'm pretty average um, but I have a very short torso I have short I'm pretty squatty. <laughs> Everything is pretty short. There's not one thing that's necessarily longer on my body than the other, um, but this definitely goes past my butt. Um, so this is something you could easily wear with leggings and wouldn't have a problem with it. Um, but I love it. It just goes down with buttons. The buttons are faux, they're not usable, um, but they're so cute. I love this. I love the plaid. I love the darkness to it. It's super cute. It gives me all of the, I'm like so on the trend of this like cottage core vibe and the dark academia and the light academia. These things that I've just discovered, I feel like I'm way too old for these things because I feel like they're teenage things, <laughs> but they're these new worlds that have been opened up to me. And this is like the dark academia style. I'm loving it. So 
Um, I do think that this is also, I said, in a 3X, and it is pretty big. Like, there is a lot of room. I don't know if this is intended to fit very closely to the body and snugly, but this one definitely has a lot of flowiness to it. And as you can tell, it's kind of big over here. I probably would have gone down to that 2X, but I still want it to be flowy, so that's probably where I would have stopped. But I really really like this of course i will have everything linked below as well as a code um, for a, a discount code for you to shop i don't get anything from this haul i don't make commission or anything like that these are just clothes that are sent to me for free you guys know the drill but if you want to shop that code to save some money by all means do so all right these this next item is something that i've worn non-stop and i have a stain on it <laughs> gonna wash it but I didn't have enough time so I'm just showing you the stain on it you know it just shows you that I actually wear the clothes and really like them so yes this is a little night I make it in a night shirt but I think it can easily be worn not a night shirt but it's kind of like this athletic style dress it's really really cozy stretchy comfortable cotton like that cotton jersey material I really like it it's nice and thick and opaque I mean it's enough to where you're gonna see like really dark clothing underneath but not like super like it's a nice thick material does that make sense i don't know <laughs> um it's really nicely made like it's a really nice t-shirt um style cotton and i love the little like striped ringer style kind of um design on the sleeves and then it is lace up i wear this as a nighty because that's what i intended to buy it for i just thought it looked really cute on the model it's just like a little night shirt to toss around on i thought it would look really cute with a little like um knee high i was gonna say cub socks not the word I'm looking for but you know it's like tube socks but the little stripes like to match these I thought would look so cute it'd be so fun for like football if you're having like a date night in since no one's going out anywhere it would be so cute wouldn't it anyway I really like this I've worn it a bunch already like a lot it's incredibly comfortable and if you did want to wear this out with like some sneakers too and actually wear it as a dress you totally could it's really long covers the booty would be, I would be totally comfortable with wearing it outside I just bought it for a night shirt and I love it all right, so this next item is following along the um, transitional fall trend slash dark academia theme. And it's this really cute um, blouse that has like almost like a peasant style top to it. It's kind of like smocked up here at the top and then has kind of flowy sleeves um, and a little tie up here this doesn't actually make it anything it doesn't tighten but it's just for decorative but then in the bottom just flows out into once again this dark plaid i love this i think this is so cute it's really really soft um this is almost once again this feels like a really nice comfortable like jersey knit but i don't even know it's really soft and really comfortable this is super cute on once again this is perfect for leggings i'm looking for really easy mom outfits that i can do for the girls during the week when i am like trying to be slash mommy slash mrs mommy teacher style um and i just need easy outfits to throw on but that are still cute and i love this with that i think it's adorable this would be cute with like a little denim jacket added onto it or a little like sweater I really really like this this is also in a 3x and i will say that the boob area of this there's plenty of it stretches to accommodate but there isn't like if you're big voluptuous voluptuous like i am it will kind of ride up a little bit so you just keep in mind to just to kind of pull it down throughout the day that doesn't really bother me it doesn't show anything or anything like that um but just if you are more well endowed um i do feel like you kind of have to like pull it down every so often because of the like waist part emperor race emperor why my brain is just not working today you know what i'm talking about just kind of starts writing up all right so if we're being honest here it's been hours since i last saw you and filmed that's why the camera angle is different that's why i look disheveled and a hot mess this is real life my ca my camera battery died my backup camera battery was dead and i thought it was charged Grocery pickup happened, putting away the groceries, kids, bath time, drama, laundry, everything, mom life, everything. So like the picture perfect facade has fallen down. It is no longer like I'm such a perfect mother and not that I ever try to act like I am, but you know what I'm saying? The 
idea of like everything's put together and I do all these things. It's, it's not real life. So this is real life right now. I'm sweaty, I'm hot, it's post glass and Merlot. You know, I'm looking a little bit frumpy, but we are gonna get through this together. And I wanna be real with you. I wanted to show like behind the curtain of what filming is really like and how long it takes. Anyway, let's continue from where I think I left off. So this next piece is what I call like the quintessential mom top. I feel like it's like an easy top. Um, it's just this really pretty blue, um, this would be perfect for like summer still if it's your if you're not ready for fall This is still the perfect like summery tank. It is super super just like easy transitional still too It's I don't know what this type of design is called. It's like that marled is it marled knit heathered knit Something where it's kind of looks like it's been kind of distressed, but it really hasn't. I actually really enjoy it. My kids are getting a bath next door. If you can hear the drama that's happening next door, once again, real life here. Um, anyway, the the actual knit is really, really nice quality. I feel like this is something that I would have picked up at Target or Forever 21 or just any other store. Like I really like the actual construction of this top. Just like everything. I feel like everything has been top notch this haul. Anyway. Once again, these ties, I don't know what it is, but apparently that's my new thing. This top, this top, my last plus size haul, the two Red Doll dresses had ties. I think I like them because it adds like a feminine flair and it's really um, adjustable to your torso, which is I think really nice. Anyway, it goes into a deep V. I probably wear, would wear this with a cami underneath. You do you though. Um, this is super nursing mom friendly to me and unlike this one, these buttons are actually functional so you could totally do what you will with that. Um, it's really flowy. Now, this I did get in size 3X. This is way too big. It's still functional. It's still something I'm totally gonna rock but it's definitely big in like the armholes and the all around. I probably would go down to my true size which is that 1X. Um, I would go down to that size and I wouldn't even go to the 2X, but I still think it's still totally wearable. So just keep in mind, if you do order this, I would say true to size for this one. Um, it's really soft, really, really cute. This is still perfect if you are clinging to the summer days and the light because you are not the um, fall and winter person. This one's for you. These next three items are what I like to call my folklore since Taylor Swift came out with her album man it's changed my life but these themes that I never knew were a thing but I feel like categorize my heart so it's like this folklore mixed with dark academia mixed with light academia mixed with all these these different things I love it I don't know if it's tumblr I don't know if it's tiktok tiktok I don't know if it's instagram I don't know what started who started this idea and I'm sure it's meant for like 16 year olds but me, a 29 year old woman, is totally into it. So these next three items I purchased kind of based around that idea because I liked it so much. So we're gonna start with this one. This is actually a two piece combo. So the first thing is this tank top. And I actually really like this tank top. However, I will say it is really big. So once again, this shirt is in a 3X. This tank top, I would have absolutely sized down to my true size, the 1X. Um, I will say, however, I love that cami, not a tank top. I love that the straps are adjustable, but basically it's just a really beautiful kind of like eggshell-y, my other shirt fell, eggshell. I can't ever show you anything white because of my ring light, but um, eggshell tank or cami, and it has this really pretty lace kind of peeking up over the top of it. It's really nice, it's really stretchy, it's pretty nice and opaque, so I feel like this is something you could easily wear with like a bra, like maybe like a flesh colored bra like I'm wearing underneath it and not really worry. Would I wear a hot pink polka dot zebra stripe? Probably not, but you know, you'll follow. It still fell, even though I thought I grabbed it. The top that comes with it that goes over it However, is a tiny bit snug in the weirdest ways. So every other part of my body, it's perfect. The arms, the shoulders, the stomach, everywhere. But they have this stitching over the bust and it like pulls. Like they just needed a tiny bit more and I don't really know why they didn't get more stitching there because everything else is perfectly sized. That would be my only qualm. However, I will still wear this because I love it. Had I sized up even more, this I couldn't wear. But... 
I still probably could have used my own cami, but I just, I'm happy with the size that this is. I just wish the stitching on the bust was a bit bigger. You will see where it kind of pulls. Anyway, it's just this really beautiful, I feel like this is so trendy right now. These like really beautiful, like minty kind of jade-ish sea foam, whatever you want to make of this green with florals on it. I feel like it's very in right now. Anything with like whimsical florals is in, but it's this chiffon top. Um, and the, it just goes over, um, this is all definitely stitched in and it kind of opens up around the stomach area and flows out. It's just this really beautiful blouse. Now this came in a bunch of different colors. I just loved the green, um, because I just, it's probably what's trendy and attracted my eye, but I just thought it was so pretty. It almost has like the lettuce cut on the sleeves. I really, really like this. I just wished it was a little bit more bust, bigger bust friendly, so it didn't pull, but I still will wear this no matter what. I think this will be great once again with jeans. This will be great with leggings. This will be great with so many different options. And this is like that folklore style without having to try too hard, if you're into that right now, like I am. Next, I can't even imagine trying this on at the moment because it's still like 105 degrees outside right now. But this is probably one of the most um, high quality items that I've gotten from Rose Gal. Granted, this was the most expensive, but this freaking cardigan is like butter. This is what I imagine the Barefoot Dreams shenanigans that everybody talks about and is so obsessed with. This is what I imagine that this those feel like. This is the softest piece of clothing I have ever owned. It is like butter putting it on. But basically, it is this little cardigan. And I love little old man cardigans, and this is what draw, drew me. But once again, it's kind of a Taylor Swift scenario. I've just been obsessed with her album. And this is what got me. I just love the little cute little patches. At first, actually on the photo on the model on the website, I thought these were almost just kind of like attached on or glued on. These are actually inside the material sewn on. Um, it's not the way I want to describe it. It's much better in person than I feel like it comes off online. But basically they have these like um, elbow patches on both sides and in the back. I don't know what this pattern is supposed to represent. I don't really think it matters, but it's just this really incredibly cozy cardigan. Now online, I thought it was going to be more of a burnt orange rust color, and in person, it's a much more of a terracotta. Doesn't really bother me. It's the same vibe, but just so you know, um, and it is so soft. I can't get over the softness. Um, all of the buttons are like wood cork buttons and they do have little front frockets kind of in the uh, the front of it. This will look just so nice if you're just going to throw on even just like a white v-neck underneath it. If you're going to want to put this match this with like a sweet little dress like there's so many options you can do with this. This is a bit more of a structure cardigan as far as like it's not just like a little flowy one you just put on top of anything if you like. You have to kind of have a concept going with this. But I still really like this and it makes me think of my sweet daddy. Um, he loved the elbow patches on his sweaters and cardigans and I just think like I've always been really attracted to that style too and so I think that's probably why I ended up getting this. But I love this. I love like the kind of southwestern style that it is. Um, and it's perfect for transitioning to fall, especially if you live up somewhere north where it's a lot colder and you definitely need a heavier of an item, especially when it starts hitting September, October. For us, it's still blazing, like I've said. So this won't come out probably for a few more months, maybe October. Sometimes it does get pretty nippy. Um, did anybody else grow up saying nippy? Now when I say it, I feel like a creepo, but that was like a very common phrase in our house. Anyway. Um, love this. Highly recommend. Incredible quality. Honestly, so unexpected, the quality of this item. Um, this next piece is an extreme my folklore slash light academia theme. Um, this isn't a 3X, and this is like the most beautiful, I, you probably are not going to get to see it, it won't do any justice with my ring light, but it's this beautiful like ivory cream lace kimono cardigan shirt. I really don't know how to explain this. You'll see on the try on, 
but it is so stunning. It just gives me these whimsical fairy tale vibes. I love this. I immediately saw it and knew that I needed it. There's so much lace detail all over it. I've had numerous tops in my life that have the same style. I had a one when I first started college, in the middle of college, and now, I don't know, I'm always attracted to this. It's just so beautiful. This is actually the same color as my wedding dress was, and I had a lot of lace on my wedding dress. So apparently that's just my theme in my life. But it's just, it is so like whimsical, fairy tale, that folklore style, like I said. Now, this is in a 3X, and I will say that this is definitely something that I'm glad I did not size down in. Um, as far as my bust goes and the broadness of my shoulders. Now, my arms fit perfectly in it. There's not tightness around my arms, but it's the broadness of my arms and shoulders. I don't feel like I have super broad shoulders or anything. Um, so if you do, then you definitely want to size up, but, um, it still fits perfectly. Like I'm happy I got this size, but I would definitely recommend sizing up one or two, um, from your usual size. And this does button perfectly fine underneath my bust, as you will see. But if I had gone smaller, I'm not sure it would have, or it would have definitely pulled. So this is definitely the item that I would size up in. Um, but it's so beautiful and whimsical. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to wear this or what I'm going to wear this with, but I saw it and it was like, add to cart, had to have it. It's just so pretty and I love all the different, I mean, there's like at least three different types of lace on this thing. We have one more item of clothing to share with you. And then I have two little accessories to share. Now, um, this last item of clothes was my, my fail, my disappointment. Um, now, I ordered this and it's been something that I've seen for probably the past number of, past number of years that I've ordered from Rose Gal. I've really, really liked this piece and have always wanted to order it, but it's been out of stock or I just never did. Um, but this particular one, I, when I actually got it, it was much different than when I, what I thought it was. It's a two piece and it's supposed to be a dress. And I'm just going to kind of break down it for you. First part is this. Now, when I, on the picture, it looks like a, a much deeper green, more like a forest green, not a Kelly green. And it looks like a sweater material, not um, that like spandex type of material that's kind of shiny. So that was my first like observation. Also, this is also in a 3X and is just way too big. So there's no making this work even on me. I just don't think it's flattering in any shape, way, or form. Um, but if you like this type of material, then this is totally perfect for you. However, for me, I feel like it just clings. It's too big, but it also clings in the wrong places. It's just not for me. Um, and then underneath it, this is a separate part of it. I didn't know it was two pieces um, until after I ordered it and then I looked back. But this is like, could be good because it's a separate skirt option. But you put this underneath and make it into a dress. So you, this is really like a two piece option. Um, or you can just use this alone as a skirt. And it's just a, kind of that tartan plaid um, style and design print. And then this is like a um, a woven cotton. What it was, this is actually what I thought this was going to be. Um, just kind of that kind of rougher woven cotton, not uncomfortable or anything, just a bit different. Um, and it has a ruffle on the bottom. It's elastic in the waist. Now I bought this because a lot of times I'm always way too late for the holiday clothing <laughs> when I actually want to wear holiday clothing and order it for my videos or just for my life. Um, so I decided I wanted to get this early so I could wear it for my videos or for my life. And this just does not fit in the bill. Um, I just don't think this is very flattering on me, but that doesn't mean that you guys won't enjoy it. So I still want to share this. I still want you guys to know about it, but I just let you know how I feel. Um, like I said, I feel like this is too small. This is probably about the right size. Um, I may try to make this work as a skirt with something different, but this top is just not for me. But that is that. All right, so the last two items are accessories. I got a set for my girls and a set for myself. And so I'll share with you the ones that I got for myself first. And it's just these beautiful, you probably aren't gonna see them. Beautiful, let me just turn down the brightness. All right, um, there are these beautiful like pearlized barrettes. So we have more of a rectangular shape. 
a classic, oh, classic uh, shape, a more rectangular shape, and then more of a bobby pin style. I just think these are beautiful. They're perfect for the holidays. They're perfect for myself right now because I'm currently growing out my pixie and I'm hating every moment of it. And I just think that they're just like add a little decoration without having to go and try too hard. That's why my hair is in what my mom calls a paintbrush right now. It's just this little like rat tail in the back. But I'm just, I hate growing out my hair. So I thought these would be perfect to add along to it. And they're just beautiful. This is super trendy right now. And they're add just like a touch of just like elegance and femininity. I love pearls and I really, really like these. They're nice quality clips. Um, and they just fit so beautifully into the hair. I highly recommend these. I really like these. And then for the girls, let me turn you back up. And then for the girls, I got a set of four of little barrettes. One just fell, hold on. These are so cute as well and I feel like super on trend. And they're just these little daisy alligator clip barrettes. So there's a yellow one, a white one, a pink one, a baby pink one, and a light purple. They're so cute. They look adorable on them. I actually like them for myself too. <laughs> and I mean, not that you would neither, but they're adorable. And I really like them as well as that they're made to. The actual like beads and part of it are um, really nicely adhered to the alligator clip. They're not super heavy, so they don't fall out of their hair. And they're just really cute. I love barrettes. I love that they're back in. I just think that they're so fun. Obviously right now I look like a little kid, but <laughs> you get my drift. Like I just think they're so, so cute. And it's something that I never thought to look at Rose Gal for. I always look at their clothes, but then I decided to go look at their accessories and they have so many cute things. My last haul, I think I did, got a pair of shoes that I really loved. So I definitely recommend looking at their accessories because they're so inexpensive and they're actually really nice. Like I was really pleasantly surprised with the quality because sometimes when you order accessories online, even like on Amazon, they just fall apart like almost instantly. So I'm really pleased we've worn these multiple times and they've done and held well, especially with my very rambunctious crazy kids. These have not had a problem or these actually, they've also worn these. So we've all done well with those. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and keeping up with this crazy, ridiculous video and all of my little random cut-ins and quips. I hope you found some new ideas and new things to try. And if you've never shopped at Rose Gal, I highly recommend you do so. I really, really like it. If you're a fan of Shein and Zaffle and all those types of brands, you will absolutely love Rose Gal. I honestly think there's like a style for everyone on there. Um, and I mean, there's so much stuff. So I definitely recommend you checking out. Of course, I will have everything that I showed linked down below as well as the promo code. If you want to use it, that is totally for you. Once again, I don't get commission or any sort of thing for this video. Um, but if you like to use that to get, save yourself some money as well as tell them that you enjoyed this video, I would love it and really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are just as excited for fall as I am. Obviously, I'm all decked out behind me and super, super ready for fall. If you are interested in any of the decorations that I have behind me or any fall decor at all, please de definitely check out my channel because I've posted multiple fall decor videos up recently and I would love it if you give those a little view so you guys can get inspired too and because soon I'm about to take it all down and it's about to be Halloween. <laughs> so anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know below any other plus size stores that you would like to see me um, show on here and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.